The following is a public service announcement. Hey, are you a guitar player? Yeah. Hey, do you care about your gear? Yeah, yeah. If so, don't let this cast of characters anywhere near your guitars. I know I wouldn't. <gasps> Woo! I am tie one on. I've been to every dive bar in the zip code. Mm. And now I'm on the train to Pukesville. Yeah, you know, but I love playing guitar after having about 15 plus drinks. Whoa, is that a Telecaster I can borrow? Yeah, you know, I graduated from Berkeley, toured all around the world. I mean, what's better than playing guitar for a living, right? I love it. What was that, a Gibson Les Paul? <laughs> so then I told the Queen that was a TS-808. As a matter of fact, I have quite a vintage collection. In fact, just last week, I received in the mail a 1964 Fender Deluxe Reverb. It was in all original condition, except along the way, some bloody chap replaced the two-prong plug with a three-prong plug. So I had to put that poor thing out of its misery, and I put it right in the trash where it belongs. <laughs> Hey, is that a Les Paul Custom? Those don't look like the original pickups, but do you mind? Yeah, I love great guitar players too, especially if they have a great technique, like Marty Friedman and Yngwie Malmsteen. Even some of the new guys, like Tim Henson and Nito, those guys sound totally sick. You know, I heard behind the scenes they're taking lessons from Nick Jonas. Did you see that live solo he did? Amazing. Whoa, is that a Gibson Explorer? Hey, I love Metallica. I just wish that their old songs were as good as their new songs. That's right, I've been playing guitar most of my life. Matter of fact, it's my most favorite guitar right here. I try to keep it in the best shape possible. Besides, you know, a little bit of play wear and a couple little things, it's pretty much a mint condition. I try to keep all my stuff in mint condition. Boy, you know, I love the way this guitar sounds. We're just strumming this in a... Hey, is that Gibson over there? Yeah, I was in a medically induced coma for weeks. The doctor said, I'm lucky I didn't lose my liver. And he said the shaking will be over before I know it, and if I can just stay hydrated, it'll make it really well. What, was that a strat? <coughs> I know this is the first time I've been out of bed like in a whole week. You know, my wife's family had COVID, and ever since they came over for dinner last week, I just haven't been the same. <coughs> I'm healthy, though. I know it. <coughs> I haven't gotten tested, but... <coughs> well, that's a nice Ibanez. Can I... Well, you did it, didn't you? You let one of those people touch your guitar, didn't you? Well, let's get a close-up of the damage for the people at home. You just can't teach these people, Mr. Producer. Well, this is John reminding you, don't let just anyone touch your guitar. This message was brought to you by Californians Against Guitar Abuse.